Hi there and welcome. In my last video I was looking at this board here which is a 2x50 watts uh, power amplifier and uh, this requires 24 volts power supply and uh, for that I bought this thing in China uh, on eBay and uh, that should be 24 volts 3 amp which is, is more than enough to, to, uh, to drive this thing here. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about this one because it looks like it's been uh, removed from some kind of a laptop power supply or something uh, because the output wires have been cut but uh, I'll figure that out once I plug it in but anyway uh, the subject of the video today is this board here which is also from uh, eBay from China I'm not going to talk too much about the, 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 the preamp itself it's basically just a couple of op amps so you can do uh, bass and treble and, and volume and I think there's a pan left and right as well and that's about it but what I want to talk about today is how to convert this uh, AC power supply input to something that can use a DC supply here this is a kit it comes with all the components and uh, once I got it back uh, I discovered that it has one problem and that is that it requires um, a transformer power supply with a tap with a center tap on the on the secondary side so you can't use it directly with a 12 volt supply like this this is the 12 volt DC this is AC center tapped 2 by 12 volts so that really doesn't work so um, so in order to do that uh, we're going to take a look at these op amps here and uh, see how they're configured power supply wise and uh, once we understand that it is reasonably straightforward to convert the power supply input here and indeed you can see some of the components are not mounted here because I already converted this board to a 24 volt DC input of course this board itself uh, has been made for a specific purpose and that is why they have this AC uh, transformer input here uh, indeed it has also a 12 volt output which is quite uh, quite quite specific so uh, the power supply for the whole amplifier I guess uh, or, or for the whole preamp is on this board here and then you can take the audio out plus the 12 volt power supply to somewhere else uh, but I'm not going to use that as I said I'm going to use this one here and this power supply here so uh, I have to modify that and uh, let's just take a look first at the op amps and then the rest will be, be clear okay so um, in order to understand how we can convert the power supply for, from an AC power supply that requires a transformer with a, with a center tap to a normal DC power supply we need to understand how the operational amplifiers uh, in a circuit like this works and uh, I've drawn a very basic circuit here using an amplifier and a couple of uh, resistors uh, this amplifier as you can see has a 12 volt power supply on one pin and a minus 12 volt power supply on another pin and this is typically the way the operational amplifier works uh, if you look at the data sheet for an op amp there's no uh, ground pin as such you need to configure that uh, by yourself so this is the basic uh, amplifier here it has zero volt on the plus pin and um, because of the negative feedback there will also be zero volt here and here and the output will be zero volt so that is very nice we have zero volt in and out we don't have any DC bias or any uh, voltage on these pins or on these in and outputs so let's say we have a gain of 2 that means R2 is twice the, the, the value of R1 then if we add 1 volt on the input here we will have minus 2 volt on the output here because the gain is given like this for a circuit like this it also shows that if there's zero volt in we have zero volt out so everything is fine and uh, I've shown that down here on these two graphs on the input is centered around zero volt it goes up to one volt down to minus one volt up to one volt and so 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 on uh, that will show on the output minus two plus two minus two plus two minus two and, and so on as well um, the only problem we have with this circuit is that it requires a plus and minus 12 volt power supply this is not normally available on this circuit they build in the power supply and they, it was designed for a transformer with a center tap so they have made this uh, power supply circuit to uh, generate plus and minus 12 volts and so that works perfect in this case but uh, as I said earlier I don't have that available 
Uh, but anyway, the solution is fairly simple once you understand uh, how it works. And uh, I've drawn that down here. And uh, basically I have now my power supply to my op amp with 24 volt here, 0 volt here and plus 12 volt here. So basically I have shifted all the voltages on the operational amplifier. I've shifted it up by another 12 volt. So previously we had 0 volt here, minus 12 volt here and plus 12 volt here. So seen from the standpoint of this chip, it still has uh, 12 volt from here to here and 12 volt from here to here. So the chip itself cannot see any difference. Uh, the only thing that we have a little bit problem with is the input now should be at plus 12 volt and the output will be uh, the audio signal plus another 12 volt DC. So we have these two 12 volt uh, bias voltages on top and that could be a problem. But anyway, there's a very simple solution to that. Um, so I've drawn that down here where the supply has been shifted 12 volts. Um, so now we have instead of plus 1 volt, we have a 12 volt plus 1. Instead of minus 1 volt previously on the input, we have 12 volt minus 1. So, so the input is shifted as well. And uh, we can see on the output here, uh, the gain of uh, minus 2, it will swing up and down as, as before with the gain, but again swinging up and down based on a, on, a, on a voltage of 12 volt. So the base voltage is not 0 anymore, but now it's plus 12. But otherwise it works exactly the same. So uh, the last little thing we want to take care of is uh, how to remove the 12 volt. And uh, I have a, a, a drawing here and it's basically just inserting capacitors at both ends. And uh, as you know, uh, or as I hope you know, AC voltages will go through uh, capacitors, changes in voltage will go through capacitors. But the 12 volt that is on top of everything is a, is a fixed value of 12 volt, it will not go through this capacitor. And uh, that is why these capacitors here are called DC blocking capacitors. The, the, the audio signal goes right through, but the DC voltage of 12 volt will be blocked. So again, we have here on the input 0 volt, but across the capacitor we have 12 volt from our power supply to the op amp. Again, on the other side we have 12 volt on the output as a DC plus the audio on top. And over here we have uh, blocked the DC, so we have the normal audio signal out again. So a very easy way to remove the DC um, component of your signal. And it is seen very, very, it's a very, very common way of doing things. So we have one issue left. We need to generate this 12 volt in the middle here because now I have a power supply that can generate 24. Uh, this one here, and then I need a plus 12 volt in the middle. And the easiest way is to simply use a resistor divider. I have chosen one kilo ohm resistors because that will give a fairly stable uh, voltage. Um, and I stabilized it a little bit with another capacitor here, 100 nano or something like that. Uh, and then we have 12 volt out here. Of, co of course, if we draw a lot of current through here, and that current will, uh, will uh, j jump up and down, it's not a stable current, then we will have some voltage uh, swing here too. But luckily, in our circuit, uh, the 12 volt goes to these input pins on the op amps and these input pins are very high impedance there's practically no current running in through that pin um, especially on the NE3 what was it called NE5532 I think um, so basically the easy way to do it is, is to add these two resistors to the circuit and remove all the all the other stuff so I trace the circuit on, on this board here and uh, it has three input terminals for the power supply, one here, one here, one here, and that corresponds to uh, this one, this one, and that one. So the center one is ground, or zero volts, and that just goes from the center tab of a transformer, all the way ground, 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 zero, all the way here, zero volt. The other two goes through a full bridge rectifier, the positive voltage comes out here, gets cleaned up with a couple of capacitors, goes through a 7812 regulator and uh, comes out as plus 12 volt. The negative one is identical but flipped and using a 7912 so it has minus 12 volt out here. So this is the circuit for the power supply on the board here. So if you want to use this circuit as a normal uh, input circuit for a power amplifier, uh, you must use this uh, 
transformer with the with the center tap. But anyway, what we have gone through with the um, with the oil ramps, it's now possible to understand how we change this circuit. And uh, first of all, we now have a DC power supply of 20 volts, uh, 24 volts here, and zero volt here. We don't have a transformer anymore. We just have 24 volts in here. And uh, of course the center point here is now not connected anymore. So this line is basically just floating around. So I took out the rectifier bridge, it's no longer required. I took out these capacitors and I took out these voltage regulators because we have a stable 24 volt uh, supply here. So we don't need to rectify and filter and, uh, and stuff. So the only problem we have left is that the center point here is floating. So I added these two 1K resistors and I kept these two capacitors just to filter it out a bit. And uh, what we come up with now is this. This is basically the circuit. So we have one of the inputs going through here. The, the, the diode has been shorted out. And then it goes directly out 24 volts. The other one is the other one is 0 volt going through, shorting out this one with a wire. Going through here and direct out. This is 0 volt. So this is connected to 0. This is connected to 24 and finally we need to generate a 12 volt center here so we have this resistor uh, network here 1k 1k and uh, as i said just a few seconds ago i kept these two capacitors 100 nano just to filter out uh, the signal a little bit and that's basically it okay so if we look at the main pcb itself you can see i have removed a lot of capacitors i have removed the diodes i have removed the two voltage regulators the, the 7812 and the 7912 and uh, what I did instead was uh, ground is here, 20 volt is here, they go through, um, instead of the diode bridge, I just wired it across, and uh, the ground also wired across, and uh, then I have two filter capacitors, and then I have those resistors uh, that will generate the center voltage at 12 volt. And that's it, basically, the orb amps now have um, 0 volt, 12 volt, and 24 volt across them, instead of... Uh, uh, minus 12, 0 and 12 volt. So uh, now I have converted my circuit to um, plus 24 volt DC instead of a plus minus 12 volt AC. Oh, and uh, don't forget on the output from your amp you need to put those DC blocking capacitors. I have no space on this board for that, so uh, they have to be on the cable coming out here. So uh, this is audio in and audio out, so they need uh, capacitors in series with them. But uh, generally that's not a problem because this one, the output goes through my power amplifier and that has capacitors on its input so they will be separated uh, properly anyway. And on the input here, if the input comes from a, a, a audio jack or something, you can put the capacitors, solder them on the audio jack and then the cable from the capacitor down to here. So uh, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video where I assemble everything, the power supply, the the input board here with the tone controls and everything and uh, the power amplifier so I'll assemble that in a small, small little box and uh, we can see that uh, working so anyway thanks for watching and uh, see you again later